Bastille. Howdy. When you were running Bastille, what type of running Bastille were you running? That's a, <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a hell of a way to start it. Um, There's a reason why. Uh, obviously not that good. That's why I made the change. <laughs> but I mean, I guess like not elusive. Uh, I guess like a one cut kind of guy. I don't know. Well, you were like, I want to run you over. I want to make you. Uh, I guess run over. So now that you're playing the position that typically running backs like to run over, uh -huh. I guess like, how do you stop a running back like that? Like a bigger back who is wanting to be physical, wants to run out, wants to. Uh, tackle him, get him on the ground. So was that by any means necessary, really? Is it? Is that more of a group effort with guys like that in comparison to maybe? More yeah, I think it's a lot of uh, just everyone swarming to the ball, just being a relentless team, and just uh, everyone just being sound in their assignments. Obviously, I've seen that so Yeah, I'm not, yeah, I, I kind of picked up yeah, on it. Like, what are you? Uh, he's he's a really good player. He's uh, very elusive. Uh, a lot more than I was expecting. Uh, he's fast. He's really patient, and he's just a big back. I mean, they got a whole staple over there. But I mean, just a bigger challenge for us, and we're really excited for it. When you're talking about defensive tackles, some of the things those guys do in the run game you kind of go unsung a little bit. You know, mm -hmm. they're not always the ones making the tackles, but they've got to keep blocks and double teams. Mm -hmm. Who are some of the best guys from your purview playing behind them at eating blocks at? Against the run, kind of those uh, so far this year, it's been really everyone we put in. But I mean, um, uh, Teron, Vincent, uh, Mike Hall, Jerron Cage, all those guys—they just get in there, they eat blocks, and yeah, they they go unsung a lot. I mean, sometimes they'll let they'll let us know like, hey, like we're taking on double teams, like you gotta make the tackle. So I mean, we're me and Tommy, all the linebackers, we're really appreciative about them. But I mean, um, it does suck that they go like unsung heroes or whatever you just said. But I mean, um, sooner or later, someone's gotta give them credit. I guess, uh, what's something that stands out to you about Teron Vincent that maybe, um, you know, doesn't get talked about a lot? What's something that makes him excel? Uh, just has a lot of energy. Uh, he's always going for six A to B. That's our little saying. He's just always giving 110% until the ball's down. Still, when you look at uh, Wisconsin on video, what jumps out at you about him? I mean, they've been known forever as a lineup, try to shove you off the ball or – you know, zone blocking, up, up, all this kind of stuff up front. Yet they seem to be dropping back into uh, shotgun a lot this year and stuff and throwing the ball, it looks like, at least from the video we've seen. But what, what stands out about them? Uh, they're just really big, fast, physical, and they want to play smash, smash mouth ball. But, I mean, uh, they've also evolved a little bit. They're able to go back and pass. So uh, we just got to just gotta be ready for whatever they th decide to throw at us. Yeah. Are, are, are you eager for this test, how would you describe oh, yeah. it? You yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's going to be a fun game. It's going to be a yeah. night game, blackout. It'll be fun as well. But you know what I'm talking about. I mean, they're known as a physical yeah. team. going to yeah. come after you. You know what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. I mean, do you all feel prepared for this test? Yeah, I, yeah, I think I think we prepared all summer, all throughout this season. It's going to be a nice test for us. Yeah. So the answers are going to be short. I'm, I'm tired as hell right now. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Did the Notre Dame game help you all uh, prepare for a, for a Wisconsin instead of, like, playing, you know, three kind of warm-ups? It was Notre Dame right off the bat, a physical team, et cetera. Oh, uh, yeah, we just had to come out, uh, be ready to play our best ball as soon as the season started. I think that really just prepared us for the entire season, uh, not just getting our feet wet, but really just jumping right into like a really good team. Can I ask one last thing before you run out of breath? Go uh, for it. They're running back, a Braylon Allen. When you watch him on video, what jumps out about him? Uh, to answer that guy's question, same thing. Uh, just fast, elusive, um, big guy that we gotta, that we just got to keep hitting. Yeah. Yep. Still, has anyone given you like a good-looking practice for a bank that big? Uh, gosh. Uh, Caden Saunders kind of runs like Bobby Boucher. My shoulder kind of hurts right now from him. He just he puts his head down and go. But I mean, um, not as big as him, but yeah, he's definitely giving us a good look. I think all the scout teams really have given us a good look for this week. Steele, I put a hat on and my hair is matted down for the rest of the day. How yeah. in the world does your hair still look like that after wearing a helmet all practice? Oh, it's like a crow's nest up here. It's disgusting. <laughs> but I mean, uh. Uh, condition twice a day. Uh, I don't know. Come it once a day. What kind of condition? Oh shit. Uh, I don't know. I just changed out. I just ran out, so I'd have to get back with you on that one.
You mentioned Caden Saunders is somebody who, you know, challenges you guys in practice. What about TC? Like, what about, about him, you know, put him in that situation on Saturday? Uh, TC, he's been, um, he hasn't been with the scout as much. He's been doing a lot of uh, reps over with the ones and twos. But, I mean, when, when we do see him, whenever we come together, he's, he's a pretty physical runner, yeah. How big is that for your prep to see, to be able to see what the scout team looks like each week? Uh, I think it's big because, I mean, everything that we see in the scout team really correlates to what we see on Saturday. So just being able to see, like, as close as we can to the same looks, that's really big for us. Who's Graham Mertz this week, your quarterback? Uh, we've just been rotating at quarterback. I could just, I don't know, just from the number. Okay. Um, you don't know the player's name? Or, or the player's why did they just name? rotate? So yeah, I got you. Man. Just a bunch All right. of guys. All right, any more questions for Steele? Uh, one last. Uh, yeah, one Go last for one. it, man. Uh, just... You know, someone who has played running back, how do you Thank think you, that offense, like, uh, just used to being in that offensive mindset, aids you Paris in the uh, reading offenses when you're Paris on the Paris. other side of the line? Um, I think as far as things like uh, any kind of running back steps, uh, just kind of knowing their reads, maybe like what keys they're looking at, stuff like that can really help me. Um, and then in high school, we kind of ran the same same sort of uh, offense. A lot of eye back, a lot of under under the center, so that kind of helps me too. Is practice harder this year than last year? Uh, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to say something that'll get me in trouble, but yeah, yeah. They, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's not well. harder. Like maybe just more emphasis on being physical. Yeah, I like, think yeah, big emphasis. Uh, we're going full pads two times a week now, so that's that's different. That really traps my ass, but I mean. It's whatever we need to get physical yeah. uh, for a game like this. How is that showing up on game day? Because, like, I mean, you look exhausted. How is that showing up more on game day when you're playing teams like Notre Dame and Bears in Wisconsin? The fact that you are you know, hitting a lot more during the week. Uh, honestly, at times, it just makes the game a little easier as far as just like the pace we go through a practice and then just a lot just a lot of hitting for just feels like nonstop. So it just really prepares us mentally and physically for Saturday. How much good on good is it? Uh, it's more than in years past, but I mean, it's, it, it's pretty decent amount. Yeah. All right. Steel, thank you very much.